Hey, my name's John Disk, and this is the Crypto Update. It's Monday, September 11th, 2017. And it's only 6.44 p.m., but we're going to start a little early tonight. Because I want to welcome my friend Shelly to the Crypto family. Welcome, Shelly. Shelly made her first purchase today of Bitcoin. And she bought it in at a great price, actually. Um, the most common question people ask um, about all cryptocurrencies is, is when do I know what price to buy in at? And it's asked all day, every day. And I'm going to give you the outline of helping you determine... And, and not just Shelly, but everybody. You know, anyone who's not sure, and no one's actually ever 100% sure. So, you know, there's a percentage of hit and miss, but you want to do the best you can to get the odds in your favor. Um, you don't want to buy in during a decline in price, like here, if you bought in if you bought in here well initially you're making money eventually you're losing a whole lot of money what you want to do is wait for the bottom and for Bitcoin to go on an upward trend and this right here what you're looking at is a beautiful upward trend So if you buy in, if you, if you buy in here, you're gonna start your crypto life off losing money, and nobody likes to lose money. So, but anyway, you're looking at a 14-day graph, and we're we're only gonna need 10 days of it, the the past 10 days, the most recent 10 days. So we're gonna cut out the first four days. For the, the the oldest four days, and we're going to find the Bitcoin high. As you can see, it was approaching five thousand dollars on the first day of the of the ten days. So the ceiling is at five thousand dollars, and we'll call that the ceiling. And a lot of people thinking Bitcoin was going to go through the moon, through the roof, and to the moon, and started buying in here. And you can see they, <clears throat> Bitcoin lost a thousand dollars in value, um, which would have been was that twenty percent of market value. So if you had bought in. For ten thousand, you're gonna wake up tomorrow and find eight thousand dollars in your account. Is that right, crypto heads? Yeah, twenty percent of ten thousand. Yeah, it's two thousand. <coughs> so we have determined the ceiling is five thousand dollars, and the floor that Bitcoin just doesn't want to go below. As you can see, it was approaching it here, and it was approaching it just a day and a half, two days ago. And don't forget, we don't need these first four days. We're just looking at these ten days right here. So if the floor is 4,000 and the ceiling is 5,000, what's the middle number? And you're going to find out. It's 4500 So currently, today, yesterday, um, the day before, um, the best time to buy Bitcoin is when it was below $4,500. Okay, but you don't want to buy in as soon as it goes from, let's say, 4600 to... 
to a, a couple of dollars below 4500 because nobody knows how far this line could have went down. So if you buy in where that arrow is and Bitcoin just keeps on dropping, you already spent your money and you could have got a much better price and a much better rise right there. So you would have made more money here. And eventually you're coming close to breaking even if this line needs that line. But you're still only even and you're way ahead of the game if you bought in there. I hope I'm not confusing people. So uh, the ultimate Bitcoin price we've determined is 4500 And that's right there. And Shelly got in, I believe he got in at 42.17.71. The Karen price is 42.25.70, so you're now making money. So if the price falls below, if the Bitcoin price falls below 42.17.71, you're losing money. If the Bitcoin price goes above 42.17.71, you're making money. And the higher above it goes, of course, the more money you're going to make. Okay. It's not too hard to figure out. If you have any trouble with that, or if it confuses you, and you don't know if your next buy-in is at a good price, if Bitcoin is at a good price when you're about to buy in with more. Uh, do you know where to find me? Just shoot me a call. We'll analyze the charts and uh, we'll figure it out together. Anyway, on a whole, from 24 hours ago, Bitcoin is down. Shelly's up, but Bitcoin price is down from 24 hours ago. 1.35%. Um, so for the day we're a little bit down but it's not too bad and it looks like it's adjusting let's go a little closer and see exactly this is a one day chart it's been a little volatile and it was kind of flirting with 4100 but it just wouldn't get there and uh, a little bit bouncy here and this actually is a good buy pattern because each low after the bounce is a little bit higher than the previous low and that's what you want to see this one's a little higher than it should be and it could have, and it could have came down a little bit and if it did it, it would have been the absolute perfect time to buy and you can see after these bounces uh, you can see what happens. So right now, um, we have a tiny little fall right there, but it's making its way back up, and you can see the stairway building. <coughs> Shelly bought in right about here. So you can see... Um, I think you made a perfect price. I think it's shown a strong pattern. Let's go even closer to a one hour chart. And you can see this stairway building. That's the low. And there's a little bit of a drop. But it's actually nowhere near as bad as the previous drop. And now we're on a rise. And a little bit of a drop again. But there's the next stair. And I believe it's going to shoot up. We'll have to see what happens. And we'll come back to Bitcoin um, by the end of this video. For now, we're going to go on to Ethereum and see what's going on there. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. Ethereum price is 298.06 and it's down 1.9% from 24 hours ago from this time yesterday. So down almost 
Uh, the high for the day was $308.80 and the low was $288.13. So it showed a pr promising uh, upward trend late last night, like 11.30 at night. And then there was a sell-off and now it's trying to adjust and move back up. Light coin, the coin of light. One of my favorite coins here. It's been struggling lately. Yeah, but Litecoin is up not even a half of a percent, point three seven. Sitting at uh, $68.21. It's below the buy line. The buy line for Litecoin, we've determined a while ago. And you have to recalculate the buy line every day if you grasp what I was saying about how to determine it. Um, because the highs and lows change, the floors and ceiling change um, as time moves on new floors and new ceilings come into the picture and you have to so that determines what the buy line is going to be um, real quick let's uh let's make sure the litecoin buy line is still at seventy dollars this is a two week fourteen day chart we can cut out four days and we can it has the byline has moved for Litecoin. We can determine the floor at what is that sixty three dollars. I'm feeling lazy. We're going to use the calculator sixty three plus. What's the ceiling going to be? The ceiling is going to be ninety dollars. You can see we broke through the ceiling a long time ago at the beginning of the 10 day mark and uh, but it, it shot right back down as soon as it broke through so that's what we have trouble getting over $90 <coughs> so 63 plus 90 and then divide that by 2 and we get the buy line of 7605 which would be right about there. 70, so uh, the Litecoin buy line came up, so we're still sitting, we're actually we're looking at a, a great price, and look at the bounce pattern we have coming up. Let's move closer to one day, and the most recent pattern the last few hours this was great right here earlier today it was, it was way early this morning probably five o'clock in the morning six o'clock uh, you can see a very promising pattern here and a whole lot of other people saw it too and that's why a lot of people got in here here and here and look what happened so those people made money right off the bat and although it adjusted um, they're still making money because they're still above these lines here. So they're still in the green. What did we determine the buy on? 7650. Let's go closer to one hour. And if it wasn't for this. We'd be looking pretty, but right now we're back to the first step, and we haven't gotten that first bounce yet. If you want to take a chance, go ahead and buy now, but you might be able to get a better price a little bit later. So hold off a little bit and watch watch the graph closely. It's still anytime it's below 70, uh, 650, it's a good price, but you might be able to get an even better price than 68, 19. 
Okay, uh, the memory card filled up because I forgot to delete some old videos, so we're back, and I think I was saying this is just the first step in the stairway, so uh, basically just be careful. You might be able to get a better price than 6813 and just keep a close an eye on it for the next, you know, however long it takes to... Uh, start showing a pattern but don't let it get above what was the price 76.50 you want to buy below that number and if you lose you know a little bit of money for because or if you you're not going to lose money but if, if you just missed an opportunity to buy at a better price it's not going to be a whole lot of money I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. It basically depends on how closely you watched it. And, uh, and you just have to be careful when it gets below that line. You, you know, I'm not going to keep saying the same thing. I think you get it by now. Um, let's go take a look at Bitcoin Cash and see what that's doing. I'm almost afraid to look this coin. Sorry about the squeaky chair. It's the arm of the chair. And um, yeah, I still haven't gotten around to dealing with it. I just keep forgetting about it. I'll take care of it. Someday. <laughs> when I remember. Yeah, this camera's not real straight, is it? Uh, uh, it's okay. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is down. Not, well, it's pretty much even. It's at five hundred and fifty-six dollars and twenty-eight cents, and it's in fourth place as far as volume goes. It doesn't look like a whole lot changed today. Uh, Bitcoin is in the number one position, and again, this is volume. Um, Ethereum is in second place, and Litecoin is in third place. That's pretty standard and pretty usual, and it's getting pretty standard for Bitcoin Cash. To be in fourth place. Omisgo is up a little bit in a fifth place. Not about a little more than one percent. Um Iota's in sixth, Ripple's in seventh, and digital cash or dash, whatever you want to call it, is in eighth, and Ethereum Classics in ninth, Z Cash is in tenth. Honorable mention is Monero making a presence back on the scene, not quite in the top 10, but honorable mention goes to Monero. Hello again, Monero. It's one of my trading coins that I haven't been trading lately because the market is, uh, it's just not been doing much. Yeah, I mean, Monero is up 0.19%, like 0.2%. And <laughs> you're not going to make much money trading in these last couple of days, which seems to be in a stagnant pool of nothing. Nobody's doing much of anything. The biggest mover and shaker of the day is IOTA. It's up 6.1%. The biggest tanker of the day in the top 10, we don't really have a tanker. Um... Dash is down 1.4% and that's the biggest tank of the day which ain't saying much. And that's it. Everybody's even. Except Iota's up a little bit. Let's go back and see what uh, Bitcoin's doing even though it says it right there. I want to see it in big, bold numbers. Yeah. I'm funny like that. <laughs> yeah, come on, boy. There you go. 42.23. Shelly's still up. She's doing good. Everybody's happy again. Welcome to the crypto family, Shelly. I think you're going to enjoy yourself and you're going to make tons of money. Boatloads of money. You'll see. Plus, you're going to have a whole lot of fun. You'll see. Peace, everybody. Have a good night.